What's up guys? Welcome to Sins TV. Today, I'm gonna check out all the Johnny Sins memes out there and react to all of my memes. First off though, a lot of you have been wondering where Kiss has been in the vlogs. Uh, wondering if we broke up, what's going on. We didn't break up, we are still happily together. Kiss had just decided that she would rather concentrate on blogging rather than vlogging. Um, she started a new blog at happyinstead.com. So you can read all about what Kiss is up to and our plans at happyinstead.com. Plus, she's got new merch that you can get at our shop, shopsinslife.com. So check that out. She just decided she didn't like the video side of vlogging and really preferred writing. She's a really great writer. If you haven't read some of her stuff, check out her blog, happyinstead.com. But anyway, there's a bunch of memes out there. If you guys haven't seen them, definitely check them out. Uh, they're pretty funny, I love them. I actually did a meme contest on Twitter a while ago and had people come up with memes and I did a giveaway and I want to do that again. So you can take any picture of me you find, any picture, it doesn't matter, as long as it's safe for work, YouTube friendly, so no naked, no sex stuff, just a safe for work picture. Create a meme and send it to my email, johnnysins at gmail.com, my Twitter at johnnysins, my Instagram at johnnysins, wherever, just send it to me, I'll get it. So if you want to enter the meme contest, just create a meme. Don't use one that's already been made. I've seen most of them, if not all of them. So create your own original meme, send it to me, and I'm gonna pick the top three, and the top three winners are gonna get a Sins prize pack. Um, I'll send you some merch from shopsinslife.com, stickers, that kind of thing. So just make sure you get it to me, be creative, be funny, and no triple X stuff. Let's get on to checking out some memes. Let's start with a meme that, at least I think, started it all. He's an engineer, a doctor, dentist, karate master, school teacher, pizza delivery guy, plumber, etc. Apparently the most talented man alive on this planet. Now I've seen so many memes based off this original memes, calling me the most talented man on the planet. Because in a lot of my porn scenes, I play a lot of different characters. I'm playing a different character every day. Um, sometimes I play myself, but the majority of times, you know, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a teacher, I'm a policeman, I'm a firefighter, I'm an astronaut, I'm a whatever. <laughs> and I've done so many different ones that, you know, people have caught on and started making these memes about me. And I love the memes, I think they're hilarious. I love when they go viral and people are talking about them. I see them on all kinds of places like World Star Hip Hop and some of the big meme sites a lot of the times, or I gotta say most of the times, they don't tag me in the memes, which kinda sucks. I wish they would tag me. It's all good. So let's check out some other ones. Another one I love is this Johnny Sins inspirational video meme. It's a video meme. And somebody actually spent a lot of time putting this together. I really respect people that do these memes and these videos. Just the amount of time they take to put it together is, is really awesome. And you know, it's pretty cool that someone would take the time to make a meme about, about yourself. So this one's pretty awesome because it has things from the vlogs, um, things from porn, things from our real life and porn life. And it tells a story. Well, it's not completely true. I'll play it now and go through it. So it starts out, this man is a great inspiration for many others, most known as the bald Latino. I'm not Latino. He left school at a very young age. I didn't leave school at a very young age. I graduated high school, I went to college, I graduated college, and here I am. To get a job and break food. So I left school at an early age to get a job and break food for my family. He started from the bottom, which is true if you watched my video about the weirdest things I've done in porn. I'll, I'll put it up here. Um, check that video out and you can see I started at the very bottom of porn and worked my way up. He started from the bottom. He's worked as a pizza delivery man. Pizza delivery man is kind of like the old school porn intro. You know, it seems like back in the day, you were either a pizza delivery man or a pool boy and, and that was it. And I've definitely played a pizza delivery guy. I don't know how many times, not that many times though, which is kind of weird. I actually remember there used to be this site called Big Sausage Pizza and the guys would come with the pizza with a hole cut in it, you know, and they would open the box and be like, your pizza's here. The girl would be like, oh my god. I never got to do any of those. I think it would be really weird to, you know, put your thing through a pizza. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get to do those, but I have been a pizza guy a bunch of times. So I worked as a pizza delivery man. He served his country. Now I've definitely been a soldier a lot. 
Sometimes I don't like that they portray me as a soldier on here just because I have so much respect for people that are actual soldiers that are in the military. You know, thank you so much for serving our country, you guys. Um, my dad and brother were in the military. I decided to go the other route and I went to college. There's actually been a lot of times in my life where I've thought about joining the military, but I just, I just never have. I have a hard time with authority and listening to people, so I don't know if the military is the best place for me, or maybe it is the best place for me. Maybe that's what I needed. I've never served my country like this says, but thank you for you guys that do serve the country. Much respect. He served his country. How many people was a firefighter? Funny story about when I was a firefighter though. Actually, I think it was an article for either BuzzFeed or Vice. I'm not sure, but I'll try to find it and link it down below where they were asking um, performers questions about like, what's the craziest thing that happened to you? Well, we were doing this firefighter scene and I was dressed full on firefighter stuff and I was supposed to rush into this house that was smoking, you know, we had the smoke machine so smoke would pour out and very, very professional set. And, <laughs> and it was with Nikki Benz, I remember. I was supposed to rush in and save um, somebody from the fire. This shows you how professional porn is. So another guy on set had a blowtorch and a can of hairspray and he was making fireballs and he was supposed to like make a fireball and I was gonna run through or I was gonna run through and he was gonna make a fireball. Anyway, we get set up for this shot. Director calls action. So I go running into the door and homeboy blasts me right in the face with a blowtorch hairspray fireball and I saw the whole thing coming and I just like dropped. What the hell, is my face still intact? You know, is everything okay? Luckily, everything was fine. I don't have any hair to get burnt off at the top of my head, so that didn't matter. But I was completely fine, nothing even happened. And I was just so thankful that nothing happened. But we scratched that part of the, of the movie. It's actually this scene that's on this meme. So that's what makes me thought of that. But we went on and had a great scene, so. While it could have been really bad, it wasn't. <laughs> like I said, I'll link that article down below and you guys can go check it out. Helped many people as a firefighter, as a policeman. Yes, I've been a policeman a lot. Actually, I've been shooting this video, um, like the top 10 myths about male porn stars. And I was a policeman two days in a row on sets I was shooting this. Officer Sins has to go report for duty. So I had a different police uniform on, but you can see that in that video. So I've been a policeman and even got promoted to detective. Yeah, I've been a detective a bunch of times. But life had other plans for this man. This is where the story really takes a turn. Now, in any script building, um, story writing class or whatever, they tell you that you know, the main character in the story, something bad has to happen to him, like the, like the worst thing possible has to happen to the main character. And whoever did this has some script writing knowledge because this is probably the worst thing that could happen to me, you know? He was diagnosed with cancer. Is that just because I have a bald head? Is that why? But he never stopped smiling. I love this video because it's like a little uh, Snapchat video from Maui when we lived there when me and Kissa were just waking up. And beat cancer in just two months. Damn, that's pretty good. He went back to studying. He went <laughs> and started teaching shortly after. Now, I've been a teacher a lot. Actually, my favorite scene was when I was a, a drunk, hungover professor. Of course I came in like all disheveled and like, ah, oh, just not caring about class. I've been assigned to teach you guys sex ed today. And that was a really funny scene. I'll see if I can find it and, and put a little bit of footage in here. So he went back to being a full-time doctor. Now I'm a doctor a lot. I don't know, doctor is one of the funnest things to play. Those are kind of fun scripts where you get to, where you get to really, you know, kind of just screw around a lot. And he even started his own company. That's actually true, I have a lot of companies. So Kiss and I have our adult company, Sins Life. We have our merch company, you know, shopsinslife.com, and now Happy Instead. We have Sins TV, the vlog. She's got her blog going on. I dabble in real estate. I'm a real estate investor. So we got a lot of things going on, a lot of different companies going on. His biggest achievement? Becoming an astronaut. All right, I get asked this a lot. When is this scene gonna happen, this astronaut scene? 
and there's no space travel yet. I don't know, there's, you just can't go into space yet. I know I've been paying a lot of attention to Elon Musk and the Virgin guy, um, what's his name? I can't think of the Virgin guy's name right now. But what they're doing is really awesome with space travel. Uh, Elon Musk is of course trying to go to Mars. The Virgin guy is more into space tourism. So if we end up doing a porn scene on any spacecraft, I think it's gonna be the Virgin one, which is kind of appropriate. A man stands out for his ability to not give up and fight until the end. And he is our true fighter. So I love that video and whoever put that together, you're awesome, thank you. I just love that it comes from all aspects of my life. While it may not be true, it may be embellished for the story. It's really cool that they took aspects of all of the things I do in my life and put it in this story. I'm on imgur.com right now and I like the memes that have like multiple pictures and so this one is the most talented man in the world. He risked his own life to save others. He was a respected doctor, fought for his country, he was named Sultan, had his own company, he was a professor, he was a cop, he was a detective, he was an astronaut, he fought the zombie apocalypse, he was a wrestling champion. The comments on here are, are what's amazing about these memes. <laughs> If people were asked if this is porn, like what? I'd like to thank and salute this brave man for his service to our nation. I don't know where we would be without men like him. May he keep cream pie asses in the future as he has so far. Here's one about the uniform. Ah, oh, the position of the US flag is wrong. I'm not even American and it bothers me. Wrong US flag on left arm, anyone notice that? Not sure if porn joke or American joke. Now there's these memes, I posted a picture when I was in high school, when I went to the prom actually, and I had long hair tied back in a ponytail. I was 17 years old, I think. People made this meme and combined that picture with another picture from a scene we did. So it says then, a single guy with no girlfriend. Come on, I could get girls when I was in high school. Just because I had long hair and was kind of shy looking, I still had girlfriends, come on. Now, girls go crazy for them. I definitely do get more attention from girls now than I did in high school, so. Part of this meme is true. I think the craziest meme was definitely the death hoax meme. Hold on, I'll go over the meme first and then I'll tell you my story of where I was at and what I was doing. So death hoax. On February 18, 2013, an alleged tweet from Brazzers claimed that Sins had died in a car accident. However, the claims were quickly rejected by Sins fellow actors, Ken Lee saying blah blah blah. But anyway, somebody photoshopped a tweet that made it look like it was coming from Brazzers, an official Brazzers tweet with a picture of me saying RIP. Today we say goodbye to our dear friend Johnny Sins. Died in a car crash accident. Always in our hearts. It actually started because people did think I was dead. Somebody with my real name died in a car accident in Florida a couple months before this whole thing came out. And people started asking questions on Twitter if I was dead or not. They saw this article that, that I was dead. And so somebody made this meme or you know this fake tweet that said I was dead from Brazzers. So shit kind of hit the fan from there. I remember when this came out, I was actually on an airplane flying from, I believe Los Angeles to Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. I was going to see my parents in Hilton Head, South Carolina. They were there for the summer. So I was flying over to see them, golf with them a little bit and hang out with them. But when I landed, I was flooded with text messages saying, are you all right? Is everything okay? This isn't true, is it? Honestly, I don't get a lot of texts. I mean, sometimes, but not like that. Not everybody checking in. I must have had like 20 people texting me and I was like, what the hell is going on? So, you know, I went online and, and kind of looked around. I saw this article and these tweets and I was like, what the hell? So I went and I read the whole article. You know, it was obvious to me that it wasn't me, but to other people, who knows? So. I kind of wanted to let it play out for a little bit because it's one of those scenarios where you never know what people think about you or will say about you, you know, until you're dead and gone. So I was like, oh, I'm going to let this play out for a little bit and see what happens. So, you know, I, I went and visited my parents. I, I didn't really care. I was out of LA, out of porno land. So I didn't really respond. I responded to the people that mattered, of course, and told them everything was fine, everything was all right, uh, I don't know what's going on. So I just let it play out, and I think the next week I was back in LA and shooting again, and I was on a browser set, and we were talking about what to do about it, and I was like, we should just let it go on, and then, you know, you could just keep putting out my scenes and saying their old scenes, and these are the last scenes of me. 
But uh, the director talked me into doing this video, and I honestly haven't watched this video in a long time, so I'm gonna watch it right now. What's up? I'm Johnny Sins. Uh, contrary to belief, I'm alive and well. And uh, thank you everyone for your concern and support. And keep watching Brazzers. Follow me on Twitter at Johnny Sins. Gracias. Thank you very much. So they had me come out with that video, and I guess it was for the best. Everybody knew I was still alive and kicking. But really what surprised me about that was the amount of Twitter followers I got. Back then I really wasn't that active on Twitter. I had my Twitter, but I didn't use it that much. This was probably in like 2010, 2011. So I think I had like 5,000 Twitter followers, and in the next week of people hearing about this, this getting spread around, I had like 25,000 Twitter followers, so I was like, this is great, let's just keep this going. But I still get asked to this day, people will see this and not realize it's old, and comment like, are you dead? I thought you were dead. I thought I saw this article that you died. And it's not true, I'm still alive and kicking. So one thing it really did was made me more popular and kind of jump-started my Twitter at least, so that was cool. I still don't know who made the fake Photoshop, but if it was you, let me know, because I'm not mad, I just want to know. But that was pretty crazy, and it's definitely the meme that has had the most impact on me. All right, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate it. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe and share these vlogs. All right, thank you, guys. Oh, and I'm really looking forward to the memes, so do some funny ones. Check out our merchandise at shopsinslife.com.